Welcome back to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We are going to make Dick Bradsell's Raspberry Martini. Now, if you're new to cocktails and you don't know who Dick Bradsell is, he was a British bartender who was hugely influential in bringing fresh fruit into cocktails and helping to usher in the craft cocktail craze. And it's not really a craze because now it's here to stay and has become a mainstay of cocktail making. Now, Dick Bradsell was claimed by The Observer to be the cocktail king. The waitress Food Illustrated actually considered him to be the equivalent of the celebrity chefs of the time. And the San Francisco Chronicle actually credited him for single-handedly changing the face of London cocktails in the 1980s. And that's some pretty large accolade. But what you most likely want to actually remember him for are his cocktails. For example, the espresso martini, the bramble, uh, this one, the raspberry martini, the treacle, even the Russian punch. But before we get into making the cocktail, let's talk about the ingredients. The first thing we need is a dry gin. In this case, I'm using Beefeater London Dry Gin. It has subtle notes of pine and juniper. The next thing we need is Giffard Creme de Frambois. Now this is a raspberry liqueur. The star of the show though is fresh local raspberries. Always support local and grab them whenever you can. And the next thing you need is some orange bitters. So let's get into it. Now this is a shaken cocktail, so you will need your shaking glass. And you could use a tin, you could use a mason jar with a lid, you could even use a workout glass with the little thing inside of it. However, grab your raspberries, and this recipe calls for seven whole raspberries. And I'm going to follow this recipe exactly because I want to make it the exact same way he does. So grab your muddle and you just want to muddle these gently. You don't have to do it hard. And the reason I say that is because as you shake it, they will get muddled again, even harder. Next, you want to grab your dry gin. In this case, I said I was using beef heater and this will work really, really good, especially being a dry gin. It will allow the fruit and the natural sweetness to come through. And we need two ounces or 60 milliliters. However, the next thing on his recipe is Giffard's Creme de Frambois. Now, this bottle was sent to me by a friend of mine named Peter, and I can't wait to use this stuff. I've never tried this before. This is one ounce or 30 milliliters. Well, and, and just a small taste for myself. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. It'll enhance the sweetness a little bit and enhance the flavoring and help give us that gorgeous red color that we're looking for. The next thing we're going to use is your orange bitters. Now we're going to use two dashes and this is completely optional. So now that we've done that, grab your scoop and some ice and just fill your glass up pretty much all the way. Take your tin, slam it in there, make sure it's got a really good seal, and give it a shake with a smile. All right, knock that off with the strength of a thousand raspberries. Put that there because we don't need it. Now, grab your Hawthorne strainer, and we're going to fine strain this, but we're going to put this into a chilled martini glass like so, and we're fine straining it to keep out chunks of ice and the little bits of raspberry. Oh yeah, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Next, grab a cocktail pin, and we're going to put three raspberries on here as our garnish. And I'm going to use slightly larger raspberries just because they look absolutely fantastic. And we'll put that right there. This is Dick Bradshaw's raspberry martini. Let's give this a shot. So immediately we get a little hint of the gin and the raspberry. Oh, it's fantastic. The raspberry, the creme de framboise, the gin, beautifully balance and work together. The orange bitters just give you that little citrus pop, but it's not overpowering. Everything works super well together. Oh yeah. What I am going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below for you. If you think that I should use a different uh, uh, 
raspberry liqueur or a different type of gin, please leave a comment down below. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a great afternoon.